Katzenberger and Tame of the Stew. Hey, Stu, this is... I called uh, in response to the... ad you put in. Right. Well, let me tell you about what we got going on. Okay. Uh, the name of the film is called Escape from Hollywood. Uh-huh. Uh, it's an action thriller starring Bruce... and some others, but uh, ordinarily we don't run ads in... But we had a, a tragic turn of events. The the guy who was originally cast to play this taxi driver part, uh, he's in intensive care in the hospital. Oh no! Yeah, he 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 got hit in the head by a hubcap. Uh, by a hubcap? Yeah, you know where the uh, planes come into land at LAX over Inglewood there? Yeah. We we're doing a shoot down there, and it was a it was an improperly secured hubcap that came off the landing gear. Wow. I guess uh, airplanes they don't have locking hubcaps. Yeah. Unfortunately. I, I guess they don't have thieves trying to swipe them off on the planes uh, or trying I, to taxi them to take off. No, I guess not. Yeah. Well, listen, uh, our director's in. I'm just going to put you through to talk to him. Is that okay? Sure, sure. Yeah, his name is James Robert Hatcher. Okay. Actually, just call him Jim Bob. You can call him Jim Bob? Yeah. This, this guy, he's being touted as the next Steven Spielman. I mean, he took first place at that Raindance Festival a couple of years ago. Uh, the Sundance Festival? He's he's really talented. I just wanted to warn you ahead of time. He's in a wheelchair and he's got a, a speech impediment. Okay. Yeah, he's, he stutters all over the place, but I just wanted to let you know that. Is okay. That, is that okay? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, he's a genius. He's great to work with. He's really talented. Uh, just don't make fun of him. Okay, I won't. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm tell you the truth. I don't think he bathes too often. Oh. Uh, but, <laughs> no, no, don't, don't, don't make fun of him though. <laughs> okay. Um, Actually, I'll tell you, tell him you saw Bronco Busted Days, and he'll get a kick out of that. That's one of his old films. <laughs> I've never seen that, though. Well, I mean, he, he's not too sharp. I mean, you'll be able to talk your way out of it if he starts asking you questions. But uh, <laughs> Okay. Can you hold for a second? I sure can. Okay, I'll put you through. Hello? Hello? Yes, this is Mayor. Who is this? And me? Oh, are you, are you an actor? I am. Oh, oh, you you, 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 you want to be in my movie? Well, I'd like to hear a little more about it, yes. Oh, yeah, well, listen, uh, first of all, are, 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 are you a union? No, uh, I'm, I'm not officially in the union right oh, now, but good, I can be. Fantastic, because I, I only hire Confederates. Confederates, okay. That's no, 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 no union people from up there in Gettysburg. <laughs> so, okay. But listen, the other thing, uh, do, do you know how to operate a, a, a motorized automobile? I sure do. You see my movie, you know all the uh, the the rednecks and the uh, uh, the the grease monkeys east of the Mississippi. They're gonna rise up and uh, get, get in their pickup trucks and their motorcycles, and they go right out to Los Angeles and take over Hollywood. Yeah, I they're, bet they they're, will. They're, they're gonna put it in all the you know the city slickers with their fast cars and their anatomically correct teeth and their their uh, same species marriages. Uh huh. It's gonna be a blockbuster. Yeah. I'm I'm a, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm gonna own this town. You are. But, but then I mean, you know, once I own this town, I want to pack it all up and move it out to uh, 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 Decatur. You know, the the real motion picture capital of the, of the United States of Dixie. <laughs> okay, that sounds like an excellent idea. Hey, yeah, I mean, it's, yeah. Listen, what was your name? My name is. Here, let me hear you say a line or two. <laughs> what lines would you like to hear? Well, here, let me get the script here. Hold, hold, yeah. Oh, here's a good line. Um, come on, get in the car, you dingbat. <laughs> All right. Hey, come on, get in the car, you dingbat. Yeah, that, that's good. Just, that's good, huh? You know what I always tell the actors? Say it like you mean it and, <laughs> and m m make love to the camera. <laughs> Yeah, that is. Here's here's another. Here's a good line. Uh, uh -huh. Shut up and let me do the driving, you Gatorade brain. <laughs> shut up and let me do the driving, you Gatorade brain. Yeah, 
Shut up and let me do the driving, you Gatorade brain. Oh, yeah, that, 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 see, that, I, that's good. I, that's I, good that, stuff, huh? Uh, towards the end, here's another one. Uh, uh, for, uh, for someone who's uh, one foot tall and full of feathers, you sure look sexy. <laughs> for someone who's one foot tall and full of feathers... You sure look sexy. Hey, the dad, you, I let you do. That's good. It's, I, I feel good about this movie. I, I can't wait till it's done. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna pull up at the premiere in my limo. You know, I'll be drinking malt liquor and and and, <laughs> and, 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 and smoozing with all the ladies. Yeah, it looks like you found your own here in Los Angeles. The, 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 the women here in Hollywood, they, they, they make me wanna put on my boogie shoes. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I pull, I pull yeah. out my three-inch cattle prod and give me some uh, silicone dainties. <laughs> I'm going to rock someone's world once my movie hits the big screen. I can tell just by your personality that you're going to rock someone's world. Exactly, but uh, listen, uh, don't, don't worry. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm not one of these uh, um, um, homosexual directors. You know, I heard about the monkey business goes on in this town. I, I, listen, I can tell you, I, I, uh, I'd pull out my penis for a farm animal long before I ever m make a man drop his drawers. <laughs> Well, it sounds like you got a great, a real interesting project here. Yeah, listen, all I care about is your acting ability. Yeah. That, that's what's important to me. I, 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 I ain't going to make you drop your drawers. <laughs> well, I'm sure glad that that really makes me feel much more comfortable. Don't, don't, don't worry. My casting couch reserved for, a, a, you know, a, a Georgia peach. Georgia peach? Uh, all she got to have is a, a, a heartbeat and a nasty crab hole. That's that's not, that's not you don't have pretty high standards, do you? Listen, uh, my casting couch reserved for uh, uh, what's her name, uh, Jennifer. Yeah. So listen, uh, I'm gonna have Cheryl Dixon, our uh, casting director, give you a call. Will you uh, be around later? I sure will. Now your name is is Jimbo. Is that correct? James Robert Hatcher. James Robert Hatcher. Yes. Jimbo. Remember, okay. remember, remember the, the, the name, because I'm going to own this town. Don't <laughs> worry. I, like I say, I ain't going to make you, make you drop your drawers. <laughs> oh, no. all right. Well, I don't swing that way either, if that makes you feel any more comfortable. Okay. Well, listen, I'm, 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 I look to, uh, forward to talking to, to meeting you. Uh, I look forward to meeting you too, Jimbo. Bye-bye. 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 <laughs> Goodbye.